We uh, we just went live starting soon. So as you can see, things get like crazy around here right before the show starts. Break the chains. Who's the best gamer of all time? Of all time? Yeah. Forson. I'm from Texas. Football is just what you do. You go to church on Sunday, Texas high school football games on Friday. That's just the way things go around here. You being fully immersed in Diablo. Like Why is uh, full immersion so important to you? That's the one thing I'm not known You should have three to five. So it's quick, exactly. So I got a question, answer, question. And we're trying to get, for me, like, Hello, Okay, so guys, at We Play Studio, best is the standard, okay? Why is best the standard? Because I'm involved and everything I do is best. Yeah, so I have a little bit of a different role this year. Last year, we I, I was on a few panels and we talked like RPG and stuff like that but uh, I'm gonna be hosting like during the whole show this year I'll be I'll be presenting like I feel pretty confident it's gonna be fun I feel like a famous person right now I feel like Britney Spears Yo, this is basically what happens before every show is Ms. just finds people to take pictures with and use them for likes <laughs> I mean, that is pretty effective. The OTK choice is going to be a game of the week ourselves. Now, also, it's not just these four that are going to be joining me. We also have, very importantly, for a variety of games. Let's go over I'm worried I'm, I might not be, uh, I feel like I might be a little bit underdressed for tomorrow. I'm concerned. Look how well these guys are dressed. I feel like there's like a commitment to excellence. I feel like there's an expectation. I don't want to let the people down. I don't want to let the fans down. I don't want to let, you know, uh, the kids down. You know, and that's really what it's about. It's about the children. And I, uh, it's it's not easy being a role model. Our next game for today is going to be Creature Keeper from Furbeer Games. Let's check it out. Chance, what did you think? Well, as I have Chance is not in control of this panel, I am, okay, for some respect, okay, it is what it is. Uh, we are the Variety Gaming panel. You know what? I got something cool to say before we talk about this game. So we are giving away three Voyager Trader Elite PCs. And then we go to the Ask Fan because he actually introduces a segment. Okay. Yeah. But I still introduce Ask Fan earlier. Yeah, earlier for the show. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay I got it. That's basically I, I got the moment where general rule of thumb should be we shouldn't sacrifice continuity for, for the sake of simplicity. It sets the tone for the whole show. Big energy. Yo, this is the panel. Yo, this is S-Fan. S-Fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is the variety gaming panel. Yes, let's go look at the gaming PC. Boom. I'm ready. I'm hungry. We have a bunch of like media people coming in and, and throughout the day while we're doing rehearsals and just interviews and like different like news outlets and stuff, which is kind of cool. Hey, I wanted to mention one thing. Um, I saw you at GDC. Um, I gave you like candy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I feel really bad about doing that because like I realized how sus that up. looked in like San Francisco <laughs> to just get someone an unmarked bag of, of <laughs> that, uh, Yeah, I remember that. I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, take you back to uh, the worst place on Earth. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, also yeah. Good to meet you. Yeah. Um, Sinek. Oh, I'm nice, okay. nice to meet you. How, how do you find just break periods or like resets so that you don't like burn out as much? Uh, I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Part of it is like, it's, it's just the nature of what we do to some degree. First thing I did want to just ask you, how do you intertwine ambition with, I guess, concentration so that you're able to manage the things that you need to get done without, you know, maybe being too ambitious and having too much on your plate. I'm almost like obsessed with like progress, I'm literally addicted to the feeling of progression, whether that's in the types of games that I play, what I do in those games or, or just like in real life. Like I always like trying to like get better. But where does that uh, ambitious aspect uh, stem from? Does it stem from your days when you're in football or even before football was that something where you've always just been ambitious towards the things that you really enjoyed yeah i think ambition can come from a lot of places a lot of times it's how you're raised hmm. so both my parents are middle eastern so there's that <laughs> but uh you know joking aside it's a uh, championship mentality ever since i was like younger and you know we were doing football it's like 
You gotta have like a, a, a you have to have a winning attitude. You're a winner, and part of being a winner is actually losing. My dad would always say this: I love American football because they lose, and they have to learn how to lose, and they have to take that loss, and they have to grow from it. My dad said that whenever I was younger, and it like always stuck with me. Uh, first, would you just be able to provide a context of how you got into football, and then how that kind of drove some of your passions? I'm from Texas. Football is just what you do. It is, you know, you go to church on Sunday, you go to Texas high school football games on Friday. That is just that is just the way things go around here. Something that I didn't play until I was 12. I think I was in sixth grade. And what happened was I had a friend of mine, one of my best friends, basically was like, hey, like, you know, you're a big guy. Our, our little league team are designed to line. <laughs> so do you want to come play? I was like, okay, sure. So I joined halfway through their season and I didn't really know what happened. I just was like, okay, cool. And I just started playing a little bit. No idea what happened. Played like four or five games. Then whenever middle school came around, I was like, okay, I was going to join the football team. I just kind of played football because that's what everybody did. And I was, you know, I was big and no real football background. I think they literally put me on like the A team in seventh grade just because I was big. I, I had a coach actually tell me that. He was like, yeah, I mean, you, we just put you out there because you're bigger than most of the other kids. So like, cool. Uh, I didn't get a scholarship to go play anywhere. And I ended up walking on at SMU. Had, had a little bit of an injury history coming in, and then I, I hurt my neck in practice. Uh, we were doing a drill, and I hurt my neck in practice, and I actually practiced through it for a few days. And I was like, something is wrong. And then when are we going to go check it out? They're like, yeah, okay. But it was against uh, Justin Lawler, who he played for the Rams for a bit and then for the Titans. By the way, amazing dude. Like, he was, he was one of my, my really good friends uh, in college. I ended up getting hurt, and then whenever I got hurt, I was away from football for a bit. And then whenever the new coaching staff came in at SMU, this was Chad Morris and everybody, people got retained on staff. One of them called me up and he's like, hey, I know you can't play anymore, but we know you love football. We know you're smart. They want to do some more things on like the tech side. Would you be down to come help out? I was like, sure. I volunteered at first, like kind of with video stuff. And then within like a few weeks, I was doing like graphics, social media, a bunch of stuff with recruiting, like digital recruiting side of things. It's like I was even helping with equipment a little bit, like helping with like designs for like some of the clothes, like workout clothes and stuff like that. And pretty much everything but, but coaching. Uh, that's what I wanted to get into. And I started doing that. Like I got like playbooks and stuff that, that they gave me and I was in meetings all the time taking notes because my plan was to end up being a coach but uh now I'm here mm -hmm. so yeah appreciate your time yeah it was great Thank you so much what's up peeps welcome back to a very special interview we got the one and only S fan that puts you on the spot a lot of games on display throughout this expo for hundreds of thousands of people to see which is great in itself but what game at the expo was exciting you there was one that was like a really cool parkour night game and when you see it you're gonna be like, oh, yeah, that looks sick. Like, it's just, just looking at it look cool. Another one, it's, uh, it was Toxic Crusaders. I think it's the first thing we show in the show. Again, I haven't played that one, but I, I, I were watching the trailer for it, and I'm like, dude, I, I, I love Super Nintendo. I saw it, and I'm like, this just looks exactly like Turtles in Time to me. Like, the, the old Ninja Turtles game, and just like the, the setup of you've got like the, it's like four players, beat them up type game. Like, I, I love that stuff. Like, the, the X-Men arcade game. Like, I love games like that, so. It just felt like that style of game to me, so I, I probably will try and like couch co-op that, get some of the guys together and roommates together and play that. And before anyone hops on you, these guys have reviewed hundreds of games, if not uh, slightly over a thousand games for this expo. It's a long, strenuous process. Dude. Can you take us through what that's like to have to hand sift through so many games? I'm, I'm telling you, months of going through submissions. Is it this many games for these categories? Are these the categories we want to go with? And there's, a, there's a lot of emotions because you guys also uh, had, a, had a big announcement, which again, we're in the future. So they've already had this big announcement with Mad Mushroom being a publishing company. Gotta ask you, you've played a lot of games throughout your lifetime. So what's the motivation of wanting to start this publishing company? And what are, what's like the ultimate end goal behind Mad Mushroom? Mad Mushroom is ambitious. Not only do we have like a lot of big streamers that support both TK, but but we have people that are like our guys, like wh whether it's Asman or Chance or I mean we, we we have guys who played games for years and years and years, and a lot of the value of what a publishing company brings is really enhanced by where the marketing, you know, like if we if there's a game that's good and we want to publish it, we're like okay this game looks good it looks fun we'll publish it, play those games on stream. If that's something that we really believe in, it, it's, it's gonna be a great deal for those games. There's, there's so much value in being able to do that. Having that direct community feedback that a lot of devs don't get. Let's say a game comes out and you're like, okay, that was cool, but I think it should have this, or this should have that. And I'm playing it on stream, you know, like, I, I, like if I play a demo of one of these games that we have in the Games Expo, then I hear what chat says. 
but it's a lot harder for like a dev for any of these games to not only get people to play the games in the first place, but then knowing that they played the game and then going back and like sifting through all the feedback and being like, what do people think? You know, what does the streamer think? And you know, we have that direct connection. Like we, we end up being the bridge between the community that the game is the target audience for and the developers. I'm very, very, very excited for, for what we can do with Mad Mushroom. We saw a cut of you playing Diablo and it was a special cut. It was uh, you being fully immersed Oh yes, in Diablo, fully. in Diablo, like full, fully immersed. Mm -hmm. And so the question being, why is a uh, full immersion so important to you? If you want to play games at the highest level, and I've always believed in this, you gotta, you gotta be, you know, completely and totally immersed in your character. You gotta become one with the character in order to play the highest level. So sometimes you can do that, sometimes you can't. It's just it is what it is. But you know, whenever I was like, hey, look, I loaded up Diablo and I was clicking through the characters. You know, Sorcerer, Necromancer, you got the Rogue, you got the Barbarian, and then you have s -Band. So, So I click on s -Band. <laughs> I click on the Druid, and it's like, no, this is literally like me. <laughs> Everybody's like, dude, that Druid looks like s -Band. Druid looks like s -Band. I, I'm like, okay, haha, -ha, guys, long hair, beard equals s -Band. Uh, I went to go look at it, and I was like, oh. No, like, that's me. <laughs> it's like, same body, like, same, same type of frame, same body type. I'm a little bit, uh, like, I've deflated a little bit. I haven't worked out in a few months because of some injuries. So I'm like, I, I went up and I like stood next to it. And I was like, man, like, I kind of, I got to get back in the gym. It's looking bad. But no, it's actually, yeah. It was, uh, it's the thing. It's just you want to play at the highest level. You got you to gotta be one with your character. Yeah, man. Full immersion mm -hmm. matters. Uh, kind of just a flip-flop. As we close down the questions, uh, who's the best gamer of all time? Of all time? Yeah. Forsen. Why? Forsen. Why? Forsen. That would work. Well, you know, it wouldn't be an OTA event without another announcement of a new company. There it is, Bad Mushroom. Good job. Thank you. Good job, guys. So where is it? Creature Keeper. You just want to know what I ate last night? Hmm. I had canned tuna and bananas. Guys, I just wanted to introduce myself. I work with Willis and Wendy. Hi. Wendy, nice to meet you all. New to the sales team. Today. Well, it's good to meet you. <laughs> Ah, 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 guys. Ha, ha, ha. Hello. Good morning. I am. Good morning, Wade. Good morning, vlog. Whoever's yeah, editing back. this, just do this over and over again. What? Multiple minutes of misgift pull-ups. Do it again. Make it look oh, like it wow. did 40 consecutively. Wake no. flew all the way here for this. Fuck the, yeah. I, this is, <laughs> just to make sure impressive. I'm sleeping. We, uh, we just went live starting soon. So this show, as you can see, things get like crazy around here, right before the show starts. Mm -hmm. A lot of juice. A whole lot of juice, a whole lot of energy. People get really excited. I mean, you can't even, you can't even contain all the, all the juice that's coming out of the top. Extra Emily is off the walls, okay. There's been so much work and everything put into this. Uh, by the time you guys see this, the show's already gonna be done, so I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the behind the scenes. I like doing uh, all this behind the scenes stuff for events and whatnot, so uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. Uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know what, what you would like to see more. Let me know what I could do better. We'll keep doing this stuff, and thanks for supporting everything I do and everything OTK is doing and everything everybody's doing. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, guess where I'm at? Oh, that's awesome. Guys, it's crazy how uh, yeah. games that are ads are better. Okay, so the winner of Chat's Choice is going to be The Engineer. Yo, we did it. We did it. We did it. Good yeah, job. We're all done. Yeah, that's been a great fucking job, dude. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was that, that looked was, hard as fuck. That was a that was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot. I mean, they was like getting tongue tied. And yeah. It was, that was that was a yeah. That was, was a lot. It turned out really good. Engineer, right? And you know what's funny? Yeah. They said Enyanare at the beginning of the trailer. That's yeah. why I thought I pronounced it wrong. Yeah, that's because that's what that's what uh, world it was in. Uh, yeah. Okay, I misunderstood. Okay. But yeah. Anyway. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks. OT Games. Thanks Good job, man. Thanks. Oh, I appreciate it. Great job, man. Thanks. Well, uh, it's in here. Hey, uh, oh, we'll see you guys later. Uh, make sure to sub, YouTube, all those things, comment, like. Great job, man. You guys like the license? Thank you. You did so well today. <laughs>
leave a comment. Let me know what you guys like like about these vlogs, what we should do different, what we should add, what kind of stuff you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.